Hello, my name is Brad Perkins. And I am Richard Wiseman. And we are going to talk to you about self-cleaning photocatalytic concrete. The discovery of photocatalytic concrete was accomplished by Italian researcher Luigi Cassar and his team at Ital Cementi. They introduced their invention at the 2014 European Inventor Award, where they were finalists. After 10 years of development in Italy and France, photocatalytic cement is available in the United States. The admixture, known as TX Active, is a patented type of Portland cement developed by Luigi Cassar and his team. This outstanding discovery gives us the ability to eliminate a large amount of smog in our cities created by emissions from vehicles. When looking at concrete structures, you can always notice stains that accrue over time. Photocatalytic concrete takes ultraviolet rays from the sun and through the process of oxidization, it self-cleans most organic and some inorganic compounds. Not only is photocatalytic concrete self-cleaning, it also improves air quality in cities that help improve our ecosystem. Since the 2014 European Inventor Competition, photocatalytic concrete has made its way to the United States. One of the very first structures built using this new form of concrete is the Bell Tower in the center of Dalton State University's campus, which can be seen from the interstate as well as most places on campus. Also, in Highland Park, Illinois, contractors chose to use photocatalytic concrete in a new eco-friendly or green housing complex. In the courtyard of the complex, they use photocatalytic cement pavers to help clean the air as well as filter stormwater that would normally just be runoff. Finally, photocatalytic cement was also used on the I-35 bridge in Minneapolis, Minnesota as the gateway across the Mississippi River. They are shaped as the international symbol for water and are a nice sight for any travelers passing by. Now that I have provided a brief history and some uses of photocatalytic concrete, I will turn it over to Richard Wiseman to explain how photocatalytic concrete works. The process of photocatalytic concrete begins well before the chemical reaction begins. The need for material to be self-cleaning was due to smog and chemicals in the air, staining concrete surfaces. Photocatalytic concrete absorbs the smog initially as normal concrete would. As it absorbs the concrete, it changes to a darker color, showing the absorption. The sun produces enough solar energy to supply the world's energy consumption 10,000 times over. So with all this energy going to waste, the concrete uses it to its advantage. The concrete has a special chemical within it that is key to the process of the desired chemical reaction. This chemical is titanium dioxide. It absorbs UV radiation from the sun, exciting the electrons in the smog. Outside oxygen that is already in existence reacts with the ex excited electrons and produces superoxidized ions. The superoxidized ions react with hydrogen ions and create hydroxyl radicals. The hydroxyl radicals react with nitrogen dioxide, creating nitrate, which is dissolved by water, cleaning the surface. Titanium dioxide is the most widely used white pigment in the world. Annually, 4 million tons of this pigment are used. The ways that the pigment is used varies between everything such as foods and toothpaste, to paints and inks, and is also used in medicines. It was found that titanium dioxide, when doped with nitrogen, became a catalyst. All a catalyst is, is a substance that accelerates a process, increases the rate of a reaction without being consumed in that process. That means that the titanium dioxide that is put into the concrete will never use itself in the chemical reaction. With this new invention are studies into the impact of this invention. The biggest concern at the moment with photocatalytic concrete is that of environmental effects outside of air pollution. A study conducted by Louisiana State University concluded that nitrogen oxides had reduced efficiency with certain types of chemical and humidity levels. Their study showed that substances with a higher flow rate, meaning more liquid types of chemicals, reduced the photocatalytic reaction due to less contact time for the reaction to occur. 
Another finding of the study concluded that water inhibited the absorption of nitrogen oxide, which is key to the process. This water was due to a higher humidity levels in the air. These charts show those findings. Throughout this video, you have learned a short history about photocatalytic concrete, who invented it, where it began, and where it is going. You also learned a bit about how that process happened and what was involved. I hope that you have found this video informative on the subject, including learning about some of the cons. But however you feel about the invention, I hope you enjoyed our presentation.